let's see the love of God here now. Romans 8, 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? He that spared not his son. The love of God. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Romans 8, 33 to 37. Everybody pay attention to this love. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? When you got born again, the first thing God did was to open your heart and put his own love. He has shed his love abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. So God now uses his love through you to love himself. He's not waiting for your love. He's loving himself by his love. God commended his love, not our love. So, oh God, you know I love you. I have loved you all my life. If it's a sister, give her a husband quickly. And if it's a brother, give him a wife quickly. The love of God is not true. The love of God is death. Yeah, that is why it is called the love of Christ. Put up that scripture again. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies it. 34. Who is he that condemned it? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather. That is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God. Who also make an intercession for us. 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ, not from our love for Christ, but for his love toward us. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Next verse. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Through him that loved us. That is, we became victors from what Christ did. Our victory is predicated on the sacrificial work of Christ. 38 and 39. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor heights, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus Anybody our Lord. that reads this place and still argues with the eternal nature of salvation is blind. Anybody that reads this verse among so many others and is still not sure of the eternal nature of salvation, that person is blind. The Holy Ghost spoke to me in the aircraft. He said to me, when you came to the airport, by your choice, you went to the counter. By your choice, you obtained your boarding pass. By your will, you gave them your box to check in. And they gave you the tag, claim tag. By your will, you walked through the terminal right to the boarding gate. Went through immigration, went through the security. By your will and choice, you walked to the aircraft. By your will and choice, consciously, you entered the plane. By your will and choice, you checked your seat in the aircraft. You sat on the seat. You sat there willingly. You were sitting in the aircraft. They made announcements. By your will, you could have still gone out, but you didn't. You sat there. They locked the doors. By your will, you strap yourself. But from the moment they locked the doors and the pilot started taxiing, you cannot stand up and say, I don't want to go. No way. You must go with that plane, whether crying or laughing. If you like, collapse inside. There's first aid. They will resuscitate you throughout that flight. And if you die, they will package you for burial. But as far as that flight is concerned, it must go to destination. Ladies and gentlemen, the day you receive Christ, 
by your will you invited christ by your will you asked jesus to come in but the moment jesus entered it is too late for you to go out look in the aircraft even if you stand up and you say i'm angry my seat is 1a let me walk towards the back even if you walk to the back of the plane you are still inside that plane going to the back of the plane does not stop the plane from journey anyhow you move within that plane you are still inside that plane if you like fall down in the plane you are still in the plane that's why even as a believer even when you make mistakes your salvation is intact that's why brother paul could confidently say even things to come things present height depth length creatures that have not been created he said life he said even death you are eternally saved it's not temporal salvation it's eternal salvation it's not conditional salvation it is eternal jesus said i give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man be able to pluck them out of my heart my father that gave them to me is greater than all and nobody can pluck them out of my f he is able to save to the somebody shout holy ghost Give me that hebrew 7 25 amplified version therefore he is able also to save to the uttermost completely perfectly finally and for all time and eternity those who come to god through him since he is always living to make petition to god and intercede with him and intervene for them complete finally for all time and eternity what you have is it your life or his life are you sure when christ who is so whose life is inside you now now give me john 10 28 and 29 amplified i give them eternal life and they shall never lose it they shall never lose it or perish throughout the ages to all eternity they shall never by any means be destroyed and no one is able to snatch them out of my hand next verse Kebada. my father who has given them to me is greater and mightier than all else and no one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand anybody who reads these scriptures and still talk about losing salvation is blind two things is either he's really not born again because the world cannot receive this neither can they know it so it's either the person is really not born again number one or number two he is blind why do angels rejoice when a sinner repents if salvation is not eternal why will angels rejoice why don't angels wait till we get there then they rejoice because the logical thing if it was not sure is that angels will not rejoice they will only welcome you and say try hard when we get there we will celebrate why do they rejoice the day you are saved because your salvation is eternal hey. ephesians 2 5 and 6 even when we were dead in sin glory to god hath quickened us together with christ quickened by grace. us together Nango Labata. and hath raised us up together and made raised us, us together. up together and made us sit together in made us sit 
raised us up, quickened us, made us see it together, together, together. Sukatizo. You will never find one without the other. Raised us up together, quickened us together, made us see it together. Where he is, I am. Where I am, he is. What he has, I have. What I have, he has. Together, together, together. What cannot fight him, cannot fight me. What cannot defeat him, cannot defeat me. What cannot defeat me, cannot defeat him. As he is, so am I in this world. Shout glory! Together, together together Sukatizo. you will never find one without the order anywhere you see jesus i am there anywhere you see me he is there quickened us raised us up made us see it together together you touch me, you touch him. You touch him, you touch me. And the communication of your faith becomes effectual when you acknowledge together, together, together. Somebody shout, I acknowledge. I have been raised together with Christ. I have been quickened together with christ i am seated together with christ right now i didn't hear your amen 